Hello, everyone. Welcome. Well, in the next 20 minutes, I am going to fucking shatter the nonsense conventional wisdoms that have been keeping your love life on hold. I'm going to help you understand once and for all the real reasons why that conventional dating wisdom that you've been trying to follow is actually the real reason you have been struggling. By the time I'm done here with you today, you're going to have a choice. You can absolutely choose to keep running your head to the wall with the same archaic strategies from the 1950s. But if you do that, from this point on, you will have no one to blame but yourself. So presenting 10 game-changing insights to attract and keep the love of your life. I mean, what I speak to people all the time and tell me, oh, you know, I can, I have no problem meeting people. That's fucking great. Can you keep them? <laughs> I mean, who wants to keep going through that roller coaster? So we're going to talk about those 10, 10 game changing insights. Okay. So who is this for? This is for men and women who want to attract and keep the love of their life without the freaking stress. So here's the real problem, guys. If you're listening to me now, the real problem is you continue to seek out Band-Aid solutions rather than address the issue at the core. And again, for some of you, it's not really your fault here. You've just been told the wrong things. But I'm going to explain it to you in a way that you will, have, you will come to the common sense corner and realize once and for all, like, holy shit, he's right. Clearly, I now understand why the other stuff has not and never will work. So by the time you and I are done today, again, you can choose to be your own worst enemy and follow the definition of insanity, keep trying to do the same things, even knowing it's not going to work out for you here. So about me here, I am, I am an emotional conditioning expert and the creator of Refocus on Happiness, which is simply a practical process to recondition the brain for happiness, for emotional resiliency, so you show up consistently at the level you deserve to be. And again, when you show up differently, when you feel differently, when every day you feel like you won like a million dollars, you communicate differently people. People can't push your buttons anymore. And that is the, the practical process I've developed for people. My clients are able to develop a lifelong skill, a mental conditioning within six weeks or less so they can either attract or re-attract the love of their life and the life of their dreams. Here's the first one, guys. No more conventional wisdom, Band-Aid solutions. You've got to unlearn what you have learned. I'm going to show you why in a way you will not be able to ignore that stuff you've been brought up to believe from the 1950s is archaic and will never get you what you ultimately want. They are band-aids. Now, again, there are a lot of great, well-meaning, I mean, people really want to help you, well-meaning counselors and, and therapists out there. They, they, they really have their, their heart in the right place. But listen, guys, not to be, to be real with you, you're not here to work with a well-meaning person. You're here to get a fucking result. And if that person can't give it to you in a specific amount of time, well, I'm sorry, they might mean well, but whatever, that does you no good. And the most expensive um, courses to take in your life or programs is one where you're there for months or even years and you don't get your outcome. So, I mean, look, you know, it just kind of is what it is here. But the truth is most well-meaning counselors, all they're giving you is Band-Aid solutions that actually prolong your suffering. That's the truth. So here's the thing. If you, again, just think of this from a common sense standpoint. Think about all those techniques and stuff you've got from your woman counselor or therapist. If you're in a situation where you get deeply emotional or you're in the midst of a challenging conversation, what good are those techniques? What good are those techniques if you lose control of your emotional states? And if that counselor or therapist hasn't given you a bottom line process where they say, hey, let me help you recondition, rewire your brain, Joe, Jennifer, whatever, so you can feel awesome every day. Well, are they really solving your issue or are they just giving you a Band-Aid? Because if you don't have that practical process, well, you're not really addressing the core. So here's the thing. Think about this here. When you feel great, if you have this conditioning I'm talking about where you have the ability to resurrect your most powerful you every day, your most joyful, happy, confident, I deserve the world version of you, well, guess what? All those counselors' techniques they're giving you about dealing with your fucking childhood or your past, they become irrelevant. When you feel great, you don't care. It doesn't matter about the past when you feel great. You're just too focused on feeling great. When you feel great, your story, your tough childhood, or any of those other things that you've been trying to figure out your counselor for months or years, they become irrelevant. When you feel like you just won the lottery, you don't care about the past. Doesn't that make sense, guys? That's just the truth here. So another question for you. I'm just helping you to run. I'm, I'm not trying to, sorry, I'm not trying to bash these people, but I'm trying to help you get your outcome. If that person can't commit to a final timeline for permanently solving your issue, well, that's a real problem. That should be a very big red flag. So why 
has that person not committed? And if you're still going to counsel a therapist right now, do your best, do your business to ask them, hey, how much longer? A week, two weeks, a month? What is the time frame? If they can't commit, they give you some generality, oh, it takes time, you better find someone else with the quickness. Now, lastly, as a final nail in the coffin here, think about this, guys. They're encouraging you to let it out. But ironically, that is what is prolonging your emotional turmoil. This is not my theory. This is science. You have what we call neural networks, areas of your brain that are wired for certain things. And if you're wired for fear, sadness, anger, well, guess what? Every time you talk about it, you're simply reinforcing those old neural networks. They're literally helping you to stay in that emotional prison, not on purpose, but it's just, again, it's archaic training they're giving you here. So guys, are you really sure you want to stay with your well-meaning counselor or therapist? I'm sorry, I'm just bringing the truth here. Talking about it often reinforces those old neurological networks that keep you in sadness, anger, and fear. They are prolonging your pain. Again, not my theory. This is brain science, guys. That is my warning to you. So I want to quickly show you a very quick case study. Counseling versus conditioning. This will be very quick here. This is Jennifer's story about once I, when she worked with me in six weeks, we did what a counselor couldn't do in over a decade because we addressed the core. So this is counseling versus conditioning, guys. Jennifer's story. I don't know how I have lived my life the last 30 years or 40 years or whatever, not. I mean, this is just completely, I look back at my old life and I wish I would have found this program found use a lot sooner because I don't know how I did it. Most well-meaning relationship coaches what they're really doing, again, they might mean well. I'm not trying to bash them here. They just know what they know. And again, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to try and say everyone does this, but <laughs> I'd say 90% plus. And if you're with these, you better look for these flags now. Most of them focus on teaching you how to control the behavior of others with scripts and lines. Say this, say that, text this, text that. I'm sorry, guys, but they might mean well. But if you're relying on scripts and what to say next, you're essentially trying to control a situation or how someone else behaves. What is it that you're really doing then? If you're trying to control other people, change other people, isn't that just a form of manipulation? Do you, so listen guys, do you really want to depend on the quote latest script? <laughs> that sounds pretty terrible to me. That's exhausting. Doesn't it make more sense to learn how to control yourself? Doesn't it make more sense so that you can have that conditioning so you show up a different way, so you communicate a different way, and you're not doing it to try and control or manipulate? You're just, I just feel fucking good, right? Why not address at the core? Stop trying to control other people or learn the latest script. I mean, again, that's exhausting. Like, I don't want to keep up with that stuff, and neither should you. So again, I'm asking you the same question here. Has your well-meaning relationship coach ever taught you a bottom line practical process to recondition or rewire your brain so you can feel awesome. And again, have they committed to doing it in a specific amount of time? Well, if they haven't done it, are they really solving their, your issue? Are they really giving you an outcome? Or are they just giving you another Band-Aid? Because here's the thing, guys. Think about this here. When you really feel great, you're conditioned that way. You communicate differently to people. And guess what? Then your relationship coaches' techniques or their scripts are giving you, they become irrelevant because you're good either way. Doesn't that make sense, guys? And again, with that relationship coach you're working with, how come, if they haven't, how come they've never committed to a final timeline for permanently solving your issue at the core? Don't you think that should be a major red flag? Isn't that an indication of the level of their true competency or, quote, expertise? So question, guys. Are you sure you want to stay with your well-meaning relationship coach? You better think about this here. Again, I'm, I'm basically destroying all those, those bullshit exits for you so you stop bringing your head into the wall. I'm just the messenger here, guys. Now, listen very closely here. Things don't change unless you change. Notice, it's not about changing the person. It's about changing you. I'm not making this shit up. I've trained for years in person the top relationship coaches, Tony Robbins, Dr. Just Joe Dispenza. I have simply compiled the best of the best in a very practical, applicable way to rewire your brain. If you really want a different life, you got to change you. And it's got to be in a way that is sustainable and doesn't depend on you being in Disney World or Italy or having art of, like a great things going on externally. It's not impressive if you can 
feel good when things are lining up your way. The real question is, can you have that conditioning when things are challenging? Because if you can't do it, guess what, guys? You don't have the skill. So if you really want your external world to change, you got to change. So another, another quick uh, um, story here. I want you to hear Jennifer's story here. We're going to talk about – she's basically going to show you the difference between – her all the well-meaning relationship coaches she worked with for many years versus actually learning how to address it at the core, a conditioning process. And uh, I'm going to show you a little clip from her, but very quickly here, this is what she said here. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I knew I needed something different. Therapists in the past have helped, but I never saw any real change in myself. With Lance's guidance and mentorship, I finally saw the results. I showed up and put in the hard work, but the support and techniques that I gained from Lance are game changers for my future. I'm grateful for Lance and his unwavering support in his program. She was going to counselors, therapists, relationships. She tried everything. She was willing to kind of throw darts at the dartboard. And, you know, fortunately, her and I finally connected. But, again, there's a very big difference between working with people who are giving you scripts and saying, say this, do that, if this happens, blah, 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 you know, trying to give you this, say this, do these techniques versus actually conditioning yourself at the foundational level. Okay, so here's a quick clip from Jennifer's story. I just didn't want to go through those cycles again. I noticed the same, my behavior, you know, the same behavior happening and I wanted to be different. I wanted to be different for me. And, you know, I've, I've tried other things and they didn't work. And so I basically compiled the best of the best into one practice that can get you that final outcome. Next thing I'm going to bust for you guys here. Again, I'm just, keeping you from running your hand to the wall. Meditation. Meditation is an awesome tool. Hell, I, I've trained with the best in the world, in person, for years. Meditation is awesome for getting you to inspired action, but you better pay fucking close attention here. It's not the action itself. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Meditation alone is not going to create for you a million-dollar company, make you a professional athlete, or anything else when a skill is required. It's just not going to happen. Think about it. Even the relationship gurus you're following, whether it's Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza ain't, ain't just meditating all day. He's constantly learning. He's constantly working with other top people, collaborating with top people. He's creating programs. He's doing things. He's learning. He's investing. All those people do that. So meditation alone is not going to get you your outcome. If you're missing the skill in relationships where you're constantly having issues, meditation might lead you to the inspired action to upgrade your skills, but it's not the action itself. The reason you are still struggling after all those hours and months and years of meditation is because deep down, you know you don't have the skill set to fix your relationship challenges. You know deep down that if something happens, you don't know what to do. That's it. That's why you're not, that's why your meditation hasn't solved your issues. And, med, and listen, guys, it doesn't matter how much you meditate. You can meditate from now to 2039. You are not going to wake up magically and have these skills uploaded into your brain. And is when you know you have the skill where all of a sudden you feel fucking great. So whether it's trying to learn how to play professional tennis, become an expert communicator, an expert salesperson, whatever it is, these skills are not going to be uh, magically uploaded into your brain. And if they're not there, well, that's why you don't feel better. So you can meditate to get the inspired action, the idea for it, but meditation is not the inspired action itself. You cannot just sit there and eat potato chips and meditate all day and think your relationship is going to be solved. That's fucking ridiculous, okay? Meditation can lead you to the next step, but it is not the next step itself. Meditation is not going to magically upload the skills you know you're missing. You can't just sit there and meditate and think everything's just going to magically work out. Okay? Now, again, just to reemphasize re here, all your favorite meditation manifestation gurus take action in the 3D world. Like, duh, they are following inspired action. They're taking courses. They are collaborating with top people. They're creating content. They're, they're doing things. They're meeting with other influencers in person. They're not just meditating. So if they're doing that, why would you think it'd be any different for you? That's insane. So if all your gurus have to take decisive, intelligent, inspired action, why the fuck would you think you're any different? And again, I'm a little blunt here. I know that's true. But if I wouldn't be doing you a service if I allowed you or, or how about this? If I pat you on the back and say, everything's going to be okay. Just keep meditating. I have to show you the insanity of what you're doing and why it's not getting you your outcome. You need to get off your couch and take real action steps. You need to wake out off of your meditation and do that scary inspired action that came out of it. You know, a, a great, one of the greatest things you do get from meditation is this. And this is the, one of the ways I would explain to people. 
oftentimes you will get insights. And the question I ask people is this, did you think that thought or did you receive that thought? Well, if you receive an inspired action take, you still got to take it, okay? Make sense? Stop with just doing the meditation. That's not going to get you there. So here's my last question, guys. Are you sure you want to keep trying to meditate yourself to the promised land? Good luck with that. But um, you know where that one's going to go. So quickly here, another little case study. Very quick here. Let's talk about meditation alone versus combining that with a skill-based conditioning process where you actually like rewire in so you know you have the skills to handle that stuff. Well, you're not memorizing stuff. It's actually wired conditioned in, knowing that you have the specific skill to handle whatever comes your way. So let's, let's listen to Jeremy's story. The middle of the fourth week when, uh, you know, stuff would pop up and you, uh, you know, the, the daily practice and the boost and when you realize what you're doing to uh, rewire your uh, neuro neurological system and you feel it and you know and instantly when you can have a bad thought, a bad day, bad something and it's gone within. For me, it's, it was never really minutes. It was seconds. Okay, listen guys. Next one here. You can't learn a skill at a world-class level from a book or YouTube. Conceptual understanding is worthless if you can't perform a skill. It doesn't matter what you know. It matters what you can do. And here's a question, guys. You better write this down here. I don't care how smart you are. I'm a smart guy. I, I, I've been where you are. That's why I feel a little sympathy for you guys. I empathize with you guys a little bit here. But here's a question. I'm going to show you how insane it is to think you can read or watch your way to the big show or the winner's circle. How do you know you're doing it right unless you're getting personalized feedback from the expert, not your well-meaning counselor, not someone at the local church, an expert. An expert is someone who has a proven track record to deliver a specific skill set and has done it hundreds if not thousands of times. If you're not getting that feedback from the expert itself, confirming with you, specifically saying to you, yes, Joe, you're doing it right. No, Joe, you're not doing it right. Yes, Jennifer, you're doing it right. No, Jennifer, you're not doing it right. If you're not hearing that from them, how the fuck do you know you're doing it right? Understand, guys? Now. If the Tony Robbins, the Bill Gates, the Warren Buffetts of the world all work directly with the experts, why are you trying to YouTube or read your way to the winner's circle? Do you really think you're smarter than them? If that's what the smartest people in the world do, why would you reinvent the wheel? Emotional conditioning and communications are skills, everyone. You can't master a skill without that feedback mechanism or quote or an expert giving the feedback confirming you're actually doing it right. If you've been trying to YouTube or read your way to the winner's circle, wake up. It is later than you think. So stop with the YouTube. Work directly with the expert. Get the feedback and call it a day. You will not be here forever. Life is limited. And again, the most expensive things to do are things that don't get you the outcome and just waste your time. Aren't you tired of being on that hamster wheel? Stop with the YouTube, stop with the books, find the best and work with them and call it a day. So another quick case study for you guys here. Let's talk about YouTube and reading books versus actually having the expert work with you personally. Here's Aubrielle's story. Lance's, this is what she said, and I'll get a little clip for you. Lance's program was a key component in me discovering my worth, my value as a person, and revitalizing my energy again after an unexpected end to a relationship in my life. With his help, I'm able to bounce back, feel full of life, and lose a lot of the fear I didn't know was projecting. Notice, she's not, it's not concept. She has that process, that conditioning. Continuing. I highly recommend this program for anyone who wants to get over someone. By reconciling a relationship with ourself, uh, with ourselves, we are able to love all those who um, have that mirror that and have that love mirrored back to us. Thanks, Lance, for helping me to find myself again. I want to be very clear, guys. For most people I work with, it's not just relationships. Most, most of these people have gotten stuck for years over various things. If you're the kind of person that constantly has a hard time getting over stuff, whether it's relationship stuff, work stuff, business stuff, family stuff, you're wired for that, my friend. I work with people that are trying to get over a loved one, a uh, loss of a loved one, relationship issue, work issue. From a biological issue, it's a biological perspective, it's all the same stuff. When I solve this for people, they have a skill that is all-encompassing. It's comprehensive for all emotional challenges. Okay? So anyway, let's hear it directly from Aubrielle, everyone. The whole program is really about you. It's not yeah. about, it's not about you know, some other external individual. No, and the thing for me, too, is like, <clears throat> you know, regardless of what happens in the future, 
And I'm one of those, like, anything is possible. I mean, I think at this point it would really take a miracle for <laughs> – for my yeah. ex-husband and I to reunite. And I'm not going to say that that's out of the question. You know what I'm saying? All I know is that, you know, if we were ever to get back together, mm -hmm. it can't be with the version of me that I was. Otherwise that recreates what has currently happened. You know, Everywhere so it's this concept this. of like, huh? <laughs> I'm saying like to anyone listening to this called, are you listening to this? This is yeah, exactly no, where it's you're like, at. You know, you're, like, how can you create yourself? If you want a, a, a Things don't change unless you change. So you changed yourself first. You realize right. you have to change you first. And it's, it's not, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to change myself so he comes back. It was more like, I'm going to change myself because I deserve but it. We're going to start to close up shop soon. But now we're going to talk about the new contact rule or you could call shutting down. Not only is no contact or shutting down a Band-Aid, well, more specifically the no contact rule, a Band-Aid, it can destroy your relationship permanently, guys. I want you to really think about this here because no contact is that, – that makes me cringe. I want you to bring in the common sense corner here. If your ex or, or whoever it is, your partner, has decided they need time away from you or they did something bad or whatever, there's a reason for it. They clearly had some level of doubt with the relationship with you. So even if you go no contact and even if that makes them second guess or wonder what you're doing or, or whatever, it's not going to – fix or address the original doubt they had. Duh. So if you're not actually addressing the core and you're not actually fixing the actual root of why they had doubt in the relationship. So even if you get them back temporarily, they're going to eventually start to reconsider other options. That, that original reason for doubt will start to creep in. If you don't address the core issue, that core issue will come back to haunt you. No contact is a band-aid at best. And at worst, it will destroy your relationship. Because here's the thing. I mean, think about it, guys. If you really want to fix your relationship, how are you going to fix your relationship by not talking to them? That doesn't even make sense. How can you fix something if you're not going to address it? That sounds crazy. No contact is one of the craziest, stupidest things you can do. Okay? So another quick little case study for you guys. Let's talk about no contact or you could say shutting down versus conditioning, actual conditioning at the granular level. Now, Edson had been working with relationship coaches, coaching, all types of stuff for over a decade. Here's what he said. I can't thank Lance, Lance enough for what he did for me. When I came across his post on Facebook, I was going through a very difficult time in my personal life. So I started calling right there. From the very beginning, Lance seemed to be willing to do whatever it took to get me past a difficult situation. I knew my prayers had been answered by his willingness to go out of his way time and time again going above while going through his six-week program, modernizing you. Listen up, guys. This is what he said. I'm a truck driver with very little savings at that time, but I decided to go ahead and give his program a try after everything else I tried didn't work for me. I tried counselors, therapists, and if anything, those people just seemed to make it worse and prolong the pain. However, after my first few weeks of Lance, I saw a big difference. He was all in with my case, going out of his way to help me over this. And by graduation day, I was like night and day. It was like a night and day difference. I appreciate so much what you did for me, Lance. Thank you for your professionalism, dedication, and seemingly endless passion for what you do. I recommend this program to anyone who's going through a tough breakup, divorce, or any emotional issue that's been weighing you down. This man delivers above and beyond his promises. Now, listen to Edson himself here, guys. Here we go. You remember when you first started me, how you felt like the world was just collapsing in on you, right? It was just, yes. it was just over. You remember that, right? Yes. And I told you, I said, Edson, stay the course, even though this seems like the worst thing could ever happen to you. Eventually, when you and I are done, you will feel nothing but gratitude and appreciate that everything you went through was ultimately for your best interest and ultimately was there to serve you because you were, you basically were faced to, to confront something that should have been confronted years ago. Remember when I told you that? Yeah, and I, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I was like, man, Lance is crazy. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> oh, how can, that's great. How, how can you, you say this, you know? I, I was feeling so bad, so sad, so angry. I don't know, I had all those feelings. And like I say now, man, I'm like, and what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking back then, you know? And so you don't think I'm crazy has... anymore? No, <laughs> no, not at okay. all. Okay. Now, in short, you heard his situation, a truck driver making very little money, had very little savings, three kids, lots of responsibilities. So listen up, guys. If Edson can do it, 
you can do it too. I will not listen to any of your sad stories. You got to be a warrior for yourself, yourself in this thing we call life. Edson was decisive, coachable, and resourceful. He was action oriented with a here's what I can do now attitude. Not talking about what he can do in 30 days, next year, or whatever. Now. So if Edson can do it, I'm not going to listen to your sad story. If he can do it, he can be a warrior. You can too. So listen, I'm just going to reemphasize here what I just told you. The only person who's going to fight for you on the battlefield of life is you. No one is going to do it for you. Okay? You don't know my story. Uh, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to shed any tears for you. You have no idea the people I work for. No one's going to do it for you. I got, I got the skill. I got the track record. But ultimately, you're the person that has to bring the courage to the table. If you bring the courage, the decisiveness, the resourcefulness, the coachability, working with you is, a, is a, another day at the office for me. So you got to bring the courage to the table. You got to be the one who's going to fight for your livelihood, your well being. And because here's the thing when you have that final outcome, when you have that conditioning, and your condition to feel amazing every day, regardless of your external world, because you're good either way, that's when your life is magical. That's when you attract the people you're looking for. And think about it. You have that ability, that skill, that conditioning. Isn't that what you really want? Isn't that what you really want, guys? To wake up each day to feel like you won the lottery, regardless of your external world, regardless of the challenges, regardless of your dating, not dating, or whatever's happening. Isn't that what you want? That's true freedom. That is true liberation. I want you to really think about that, guys, because if someone's not offering that to you, then again, they're just giving you a Band-Aid. Anyone can be happy when they're in Italy or in Disney World or in a blissful relationship. Here's the real test. Can you be happy while in the midst of chaos? Because guess what, guys? If you can't do it while in the midst of challenges, you don't have this skill. So and if you look at your past life, you're like, oh, I was happy years ago. Years ago, I was on top of the world. Years ago, I was the man. I was, I was, the, I was, the, I was the hero. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you, anyone can be happy when everything's going your way. If you can't do it while going through challenges, you don't have the skill and you never had it. That's the truth. So wake up, put up your white flag up in the air and, and be honest to yourself, this is not something you ever had. Now, this is a massive paradigm shift for you guys because this is essentially what I'm telling you. A lot of people, again, the cliches out there, oh, attract abundance. You don't attract abundance. In reality, you generate it. When you become it, when you have this process of conditioning, you show up a certain way, people feed off of your energy. Think about it. You go get a coffee in the morning. You've done this. You have this process, this skill I'm telling you about, and you're just fucking radiating power, energy, happiness, joy, gratitude, confidence. All of a sudden, it's like, wow, you just, you're just a really cool person. Next thing you know, they're getting you, uh, they're, hey, coffee's on the house. People are reacting off of you. When you generate it, radiate it, people react off of you. So the real model is, you don't attract abundance, you generate it. You become it. Then you attract it. Understand? Now, another insight for you guys here. Some of you are perpetual researchers. You've been researching forever. Here's the truth, guys. I'm just going to be hard on you here because I don't want you to run your head to the wall. It takes no courage to research. Most of you are trapped in fear disguised as research. If you've been researching for months or years, you are that is cowardly. It is. And if you won't take action for yourself, no one's going to do it for you. So here's the truth, guys. The worst action to take is non-action. Because this is not my theory. This is a well-accepted fact. Taking intelligent, decisive action always gets, to you, gets you to your outcome faster. Always. So if you're stuck in research, when you've been doing that for months or years, you are your own worst enemy. Doesn't that make sense? Decisive, intelligent action will always get you to your desired outcome faster. Stop sitting there. Stop with all the fucking research. Another paradigm shift I'm going to put out there for you guys. Again, a lot of these well-meaning coaches and counselors, they're going to tell you you need to love yourself. What does that even mean? Most people think loving yourself is taking a warm bath or buying yourself a piece of chocolate cake or complete nonsense or watching another YouTube video. That is weak. That is a cop-out. It takes no courage to watch another YouTube video or read another book. The only true way to love yourself is to invest in yourself. When you invest in yourself with money, yes, I'm going to be very clear with you here. If you say, hey, I deserve the opportunity to make a lot of money. I'm going to go to Harvard. Or I deserve the opportunity to make a lot of money. I'm going to take this really incredible investing course. And it is cost me $10,000. That is a statement to you. The universe, your friends, your family, that you believe in you. Everything else is weak. It is a cop-out. It is essentially saying to the universe and 
the people you love, hey, I don't even believe in me. I don't even believe in myself enough to invest in myself. So listen up, guys. The only real way to invest in yourself, love yourself is to invest in yourself. Everything else is nonsense. It's garbage. It's weak. That's the truth. How you value yourself with your actions is essentially telling everyone else how much they should value you. And if you're only worth an investment in YouTube videos, you are sending a terrible message to others. So now you have a choice. You can no longer claim that you didn't know a better way. So if you still choose to run your head to the wall with archaic strategies from the 1950s, you decide to still stay with your well-meaning coach, counselor, therapist, who you've been going to for months or years, well, now you have no one to blame but yourself. That's just the truth, my friends. And you now know the only real way to love yourself is to invest in yourself. Real investment. And again, I'm not going to listen to your sad story, and, and, uh, and you shouldn't want to listen to it anymore, too. If Edson can do it, you can do it, too. He was decisive, coachable, resourceful. He was action-oriented with a here's what I can do now attitude. And that's where you need to be. So here's how I can help. And I personally set aside time in the next 48 hours to speak to you about how you can apply these practices into your life starting now. Again, uh, I will personally speak to you. You're not going to speak to one of my coaches. You will speak to me. Because whatever your biggest challenges are, I've seen it, I know how to overcome it. And I've done this for hundreds of people just like you. If you're willing to work hard, you're decisive, coachable, resourceful, well, guess what? Your outcome of me is inevitable. In short, I can tell you this, I know what the fuck I'm doing. That's why I commit to fixing this for you in six weeks or less. So in this session, I'm gonna craft with you a step-by-step game plan to get you to that next level in your dating and your relationships. Now the cost, listen closely here, absolutely free, but it is not a freebie, okay? This is not, if, this is not for people who are not, this is only for people who are willing to invest in themselves. This is not for those who are looking for a handout. I am simply gonna lay out the game plan for your specific situation, okay? You do not think you're gonna take my overall game plan for your situation, think you're gonna be able to do it by yourself. Uh, you might know the concepts, that doesn't mean you're gonna be able to execute. Even here on this webinar, you might be excited now because you now know there's a better way. You now know why the other stuff doesn't work. But if you don't take action after this phone call, well, guess what? This artificially created excitement that I created for you here is going to disappear. You might know the concepts, but you don't know how to actually execute them. It's not what you know. It's what you can do. So if you are truly serious, you will need my help after this initial call to execute the game plan. I mean, the process itself that I teach is not complicated, but it does require the support and feedback of a real expert. And guess what, guys? I am that expert. This is what I do. Uh, and uh, again, another quick little thing here for you. Just again, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know this ain't no magic trick. It is, it is a serious program. If you are working with me, I'm taking you to the brain gym every day. Rain, shine, your birthday, your kid's birthday, doesn't matter. Every day you are dedicating 30 minutes to work with me. That's the people I work with after I do this initial uh, game plan uh, session here. So I just want you to see this here uh, from one of my previous clients, Brian. Uh, Lance is the real deal. His pro program is well worth the effort. Notice, guys, he's talking effort here. Not a magic trick. Serious program. Consistency. Anyway, continuing. The transformation is fundamental, exciting, and gets you back to your core person. Now, this is my favorite part. The process is fun most of the time. Listen up, guys. The first two weeks is probably not going to be fun. <laughs> Just to be honest with you here. But, it, but here's the point that I want you to get from Brian here. Uh, Lance is incredibly supportive. You can't go wrong with Lance. Listen, guys, if you're in 100%, I'm in 1,000%. I love what I do. I don't, I don't show up. I deliver, okay? So this is for people that are absolutely tired of living an emotional groundhog day. This is for people that actually are ready to put their white flag up in there and say, hey, no more reinventing the wheel here. Just show me the way. I want the rocket ship, and I just don't want to figure it out anymore. It's not worth wasting another day. This is for people who realize how much this is costing financially, spiritually, and socially. This is for people who are tired of showing up as a shell themselves each day. This is for people willing to take decisive action now. Those who are action-oriented now, not on the first of the month. If you're not ready to rock and roll and invest in yourself and take real action, don't waste my time or your time. Come on to the call if you are really ready to rock and roll. This is for anyone willing to show up and do the work. And if your dog is constantly eating your homework or your whole life has been a shit storm, this is not for you. This is for people to understand what it's like, what is required to get to the winner's circle. This is for people to know, know what it 
feels like, tastes like to experience work. For example, I work with a lot of people that wish they were as good as relationships as they are in business. If you know what it takes and you've experienced success at least in one area of your life, let me help you get it in this area, okay? This is for people who are tired of blaming, making excuses, and are ready to take ownership of their life. Uh, I'm not interested in hearing about your narcissist ex. I'm here, so if you're here to stop blaming other people and realize, hey, there's one common denominator, and let's fix that. So if that's you, time for you to book a session. Because if you're in 100%, I'm in 1,000%. I don't show up, I fucking deliver. Make sense? Okay, so here's where we're gonna wanna go. Refocusonhappiness.com forward slash now. R-E-F-O-C-U-S-O-N-H-A-P-P-I-N-E-S-S dot com forward slash now. Spaces are limited. Sign up now, okay? Um, after, by the way, very important side note here. After this screen disappears, which you will shortly here, you're gonna be forward to an application page. Let me be clear, you better fill out that application. If you can't take the time to fill out an application form, I'm not gonna do the call with you. That shows me you are interested, not committed. And when you fill out that application, take it seriously because that is what is gonna be my first indication of how serious you are. And hey, uh, I, I work with, I get six to seven new people every single week. I don't need to work with anybody. I'm only gonna work with you if you have the right mindset where I know your success to me is inevitable. I have all the time in the world, okay? So if I see any indication you're not serious and you're just kind of interested, uh, please don't waste my time or yours. And the first step is to take that application very seriously. So anyway, write the, write the, um, the URL now, take a picture, whatever, and uh, that's it. Great speaking to you guys. Um, stop with all nonsense. Stop all Band-Aids. Let's rock and roll.